across this video. So in the previous video, we have discussed the meaning of phonetics. That phonetics means what? That it is a branch of linguistics uh, which deals with the study of sound. So in this video, we will continue with the sounds that uh, which are the different types of sounds. You can say classification of the sounds like oral and nasal sounds, voice and voice sounds, vowel and consonants. So this video is very much important regarding to the pronunciation of the sound that how we pronounce the sound. So with the help of this video, you can understand the meaning of transcription of the word. Whatever symbolic representation is there in phonetics. For that purpose also this video is very much important. In the next video we will start with the symbolic representation or you can say the description of the word in the next video. Okay. So I hope you are ready with your pen and paper. So without wasting much time let us start this video. So first classification of sounds. Different three sounds are there. First is oral and nasal sound. So that thing we will understand. So generally Sounds are produced by the speech organs. Whatever sound is there that if you want to produce, so that you can produce with the help of speech organs. Now, which are the different speech organs? Like uh, lungs, then the mouth, then nose, then vocal cord. That vocal cord is also known as Adam's apple. So over here, whatever thing is there, that thing little bit bulbs out, that thing is known as Adam's apple also. Our, these are the things which are known as speech organs. So generally sounds are uh, produced with the help of speech organs. By how? By forcing air stream out of the lungs. Either through the mouth or through the nose. That means if you want to produce the sound at that time. How you can produce? You can produce with the help of speech organs. How? Simply you will force the air stream from your lung that as stream forced by the lung may be come out from your mouth or from your nose. So different different sounds are produced. Okay. So now in detail we will see what is oral sound. So all sounds are either oral or nasal. That means the sound that you will uh, produce by forcing the stream uh, from your lungs towards your nose then it is your nasal sound and from your mouth if you will release the sound so that is your oral sound. So over here same thing I have written that in the oral sound, in the oral sound air is released through the mouth, air, air is released through the mouth, so that is known as oral, that is known as oral sound and in the nasal sound the air is released either fully or partially through the nose that whatever lungs are there that lungs will force the air stream and that air stream if you will release from your mouth then that is known as oral sound and that air stream you will release fully or partially from your nose so that is your nasal sound so we try to understand that oral and nasal sound with the help of certain examples like oral sound that is your sound in this less sounds are represented that you know okay that is your a a oral sound a means what? That whatever air stream is there that you are releasing from your mouth. A from your mouth air stream is released. Then air stream is released from your mouth. Then last one is. So these all things are oral sounds as air stream is released from your mouth. Next is your nasal sound. Nasal sound means what? Air stream is released fully or partially through your nose. So over here one sound is there which is mm, mm, mm. air stream is released from your nose that is mm, mm. that is released from your nose and last one is mm, mm, mm. so the sounds that is produced by releasing releasing the air stream from your nose are known as nasal sound so i hope first type of sound is clear to you which is oral and nasal sound We'll move on with the next sound. Next is which one? Voice and unvoiced sound. Now what is voice sound? That we will see that all sound produced with the vibration of vocal cords are voice sound. That means if you will release the uh, that uh, whatever air stream you are releasing and at that time from your lungs and at that time if vocal cords will vibrate then such type of sound is known as voiced sound. Vocal cord will vibrate then only. Okay, a vocal cord means what I have told that that is your Adam's apple. Actually, that is your vocal cord bulged out position. 
So that thing, if you will vibrate, when you will release the air stream, and if vibration you can feel, then this type of uh, sound is known as with sound, voiced sound. So as for example, over here I have written first sound, that is your b, b. So when you will pronounce this sound b, at that time you will keep your finger over here, b. But so little you can feel the vibration in your vocal cord or in your Adam's apple. That means it is your voice sound. Another is the the again vibration is there in the vocal cord. That is your mm, mm. again vibration is there. That means the sound that is produced by vibrating your vocal cord is known as voice sound. And last one is next is unvoiced sound. Unvoiced sound means what? The sound is produced, but at that time vocal cords are not vibrated. Simply thing. What have you done? In the unvoiced sound, vocal cords do not vibrate. Which are the this type of sounds? So over here I have written some example. Like you can keep your finger on the vocal cord on the Adam's apple. Over here, you cannot feel the vibration. That means vibration is not present. That means this type of sound is with sound, unvoiced sound. Next is vibration is not that. Vibration is not that. Vibration is not that. Not that. Not that. That means the sounds which are not vibrating the vocal cord are known as unvoiced sound. Okay. Last one is vowels and consonants. Simple thing is there. So that thing we will study in detail in the next video properly with its uh, symbolic representation with IPA and with that uh, how we can understand the meaning of word with the help of a symbol also that also we will discuss in the next video. Simply in English all vowels are oral or voiced. Oral means what? Oral means when you will release the air stream from your mouth, then it is known as oral sound. Voice means what? When uh, you will speak some sound or say some sound, at that time if your vocal cord will vibrate, then it is known as voice sound. So all vowels are oral and unvoiced. Next is what? Among the consonants, only three are nasal. Nasal means what? Nasal means what? That uh, whatever air stream you are releasing, that you are releasing partially or fully from your nose. So in consonants only threes are nasal. Which one? Mm, mm, that is your mm, mm, that is your mm, mm. So they are nasal. As stream is released from your nose. Okay. Uh, there are 20 vowel sound and 24 consonants sound in English. So I will prepare the next video for this last sentence. 20 vowel sounds. Which are the 20 vowel sounds? What is the representation? IPS symbol is what? How you will pronounce it? And that 24 consonant sound. So now I would like to end this video. You can take the screenshot also. So till then, read hard, work hard. Thank you very much.